Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your Astro Reels reading. We're going to be taking a look at the dates of May 15th to May 31st. And you, you guys know these readings are timeless and signless, so you don't actually have to have any significant Sagittarian placements, and you don't have to be watching at the time that this video is published. If it finds its way to you and it resonates with you, then chances are it's for you. If it's found its way to you and you take the time to watch it, thank you, and it doesn't resonate with you, I would, ad I would advise that you uh, back pocket it and wait a little bit to see how the energies unfold because chances are it is for you right and it's just making its way to your conscious mind perspective so i am going to have a seat <laughs> instead of standing which i always do and um oh if you'd like to work with me you know exactly where to find me uh, my Etsy page, all of the information to contact me and to work with me and my spirit guides within your energy field, as opposed to the collective field, is all um, included on this page. All right, so let me have a seat. So uh, it's interesting because Sagittarius, I really, as I'm looking here, only one card came out. <laughs> it's like only one card came out, but the, but it's coming out not even dramatically but just coming out to show that you've already finished something and i'm actually starting to have a little labored breathing as i say this it feels a little laborious and and i'm picking up a little bit of a stagnation card for you okay so in the sense that it's um the hangman's energy uh, but let me explain a little bit about what this feels like this feels like wow everything like this land that I was just in, it's all done. It's gone. And I don't know if you've had a chance to look at the May 2023 reading uh, that I put out a few days ago, but uh, the main message is that something that you've been working on for lifetimes has just ended. A lot of times people don't understand that, you know, there are certain themes, there are certain sets of karmic circles and all of that that they've been working at for quite a few lifetimes. And so that's why sometimes when the guides say for somebody, oh, they should really throw a party, to us it may not seem big. It's just like, oh no, I just, I turned down that million dollar offer because I just, I didn't want to be connected with hurting people. And Others are like, you're so crazy. Why did you do that? And it was just second nature to you. It was like, I don't know. It just felt like the right thing to do. They don't know, but the last 11 lifetimes, you struggled with that and you <laughs> made the wrong decision all the time and so you worked so hard. And now it's just like that because you no longer have that emotional charge, that electrical charge towards that toxic energy anymore. So you just don't want it anymore. It just doesn't appeal to you anymore. Okay. And so that's the energy it's also giving me the vibes of remember in the end of maybe it was the third lord of the rings was it the third one i think it was the third one when all the elven folk and all the people of was it middle earth i don't remember guys i don't remember they left they left the world and that was because uh there was done there was no place left for them it was the age of man now so what i'm seeing here is you're standing over this cliff here looking down on a whole set of villages a whole world that you used to play a part in you live there you hobnob do everything and now you're out of it and not only are you out of it but you're so out of it that as you look down there's a disconnect there there's no returning back there's no nothing energetically pulling you but you're still there just kind of giving that one last look over and what i'm feeling the question is well what's what's this feeling that you're feeling is it oh i just heard the guide say inertia interesting it little literally inertia you're having a sense of inertia and that's interesting for some of you guys i'd love to know if that um resonates with you feel free to drop that in the comment box or of course you know a lot of you guys dm me but you can also <laughs> put it in the um, comment box but what i'm feeling also is um a little bit of trepidation about what is to come and i don't know if it's because on some unconscious level or subconscious level you know that what's to come is like a whole new beginning it's starting something new it's maybe undertaking something new and just the stress of that four minutes 44 seconds and and what you perceive of that to be as some monolithic thing that's going to take a whole bunch of effort all of that is kind of stopping you from moving forward and taking the next step 
and at the same time you can't go back because you don't want to and there's no place that's it there's no place for you anymore where you were and that's interesting it's like a taking a quiet moment and the moment of your stagnation isn't even like months long or centuries long or even hours long it just kind of feels like oh i've been looking down here and i should probably i should probably get on my way now but still the breeze is just hitting you at just the right angle and you're just kind of standing there you know and then you're still looking down and your eyes are kind of glazing over and you realize that, you know, from the tranquility and you realize you're not really even focusing on anything down there at all. You're just kind of like, whoop, whoop. so it's time to move, right? Now, let's take a look at what's, I want to say, I don't even want to say what's coming up for you. Let's, because you're just so in that moment. So I guess the purpose I feel like in today's message for me to give you is to kind of give you a little boop boop it's kind of like nipping at your heels that's what it feels like a little bit of a shepherd do a dog what is a shepherd's dog what it sheep dog <laughs> cute um a sheep dog just boop 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 nipping at your heels a little bit like hey it's time to go and so that's why i'm not feeling this like i'm putting these cards here and i know they want to present themselves to you but i'm not feeling this major energetic pull to them which shows me which highlights again that you're not actively like whew, uh, uh, look whew, that's just your whew, silent turning to 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 face whatever it is that you're supposed to be going to you're in this tranquil space and um so let me nip at you a bit nip nip all right speaking of nip look <laughs> nipping nipping at that branch the seven of pentacles now Here's a, so not only am I being a cute little sheepdog and energetically boop, boop, nipping at your ankles, but I'm also going to appeal to you here. This is spirit coming through as a little bit of a marketing to help get you to move forward. Notice I almost said push, but they're not pushing you, right? I was boop, boop, nipping at you. I just want to do that. But I was nipping at you because I was behind you like, let's go. In fact, there's a dog there. Cute. And oh, the dog is like calling in help. Oh, so the dog is representing your guides. And your guides are like, hey, we need you also to come help, right? But also, they're pulling you forward. They're like, hey, come this way. So here's the marketing. They're saying, once you start off on this new em 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 embarkment, right? Once you start off on this new um, journey, once you turn around, it's all new, they're saying. You could start all over again. And it's so tranquil. I'm hearing, I'm feeling you like kind of turn to listen. And it's kind of like this and okay. And, and you know, and I don't get, if you're nervous, I don't get that spirit is going to push you out of the nest. I don't get that they're going to do something where like, for example, if your guides are like, you really need to move house. Like we want you to get a new apartment. They're not gonna do something to make you get evicted, for example. This is not going to be a pushing by, by vibration like that in that hard way like baptism by fire this is just like we're here we're just trying to bring you out i don't even feel the trauma is holding you back so now it's this is interesting i want to ask you what's holding you back so let me just look into these cards to really delve in because it's wow it's very the air is so still around you like what's going on uh you know what it is? I feel that you are missing having the presence of something there. Because remember, you're able to move and things were able to shut out and close down and whatever because energy was moved. And in the absence of that energy, that energetic pocket or whatever was there before because you've just transitioned you've done a lot of stuff the the eclipses just came and rolled out of town and and it moved stuff and so now there's an empty space there's a void energetically where something used to be and the forms have already dropped away the people the places the things the situation right all of that stuff have already dropped away and you on some level, there's a part of you that's like, okay, I, it's almost like I drew my context from what this was, right? So it's like, I almost, I drew my context from what this was, whether it was, I was the black sheep of the family, but 
well, the family is gone now. You're no, you're liberated from that kind of energy. And now here you are realizing, well, who am I then? Right? It's like this kind of energy. Um, you know, maybe the boss, maybe you had a boss that used to, or a coworker that was with you in your office all the time and they created a certain atmosphere that made you uncomfortable so you learn to kind of work around it and now that boss is gone maybe they got promoted maybe whatever or that coworker has gone and now it's almost like you don't know who you are within this context spirit is posing a challenge to you and it's a fun little challenge right marketing and they're like hey since we're out here and you have you you seem to be at a loss of an identity why don't we sit down and, and connect and consider, well, what would I like my new identity to be? Would I like to go take flying lessons? Maybe I'd like to learn how to be an amateur aviator, do something new. Should I learn how to become a sommelier? You know, what, what, why don't I? Don't I live like an hour away from Napa Valley, right? Like uh, the, the, the idea is like, why? can't you do something new learn something new turn some new tricks and not in that way <laughs> i don't know what are we talking about what are we talking about but you see what i mean now's your chance you've got a new beginning you're like an, a free agent you're free to go you're a free agent you're you're out of whatever you were in so why not reinvent yourself look at you trying to get back into the treasure chest <laughs> I'm sorry, but I had to like flick you out of here. No, try something new. Don't go into stuff you were before. Look at all the cards I keep coming up with. These are like old energies, battered energies. This is a looking a little better. You're calling something in. Look how we're just taking the time with you. All of these are old, none of these cards. It's like, no matter what you do, okay, the rebirth, okay. Ooh, okay, wow, that's interesting. This card wanted to go down here very quickly. Oh, to cover this. Ah, this is the this is the ending of a major karmic cycle that was very painful, Ten of Swords. And here it is. The rebirth card was like, let me get at it though, right? Because let's cover that up. It's not here anymore. Now, what did come is the Ace of Cups, which is, you know, well, it could be love. It could be something major, some type of major offering for you. We're going to go ahead and put that there to show you that it's okay to trust. Some of you are, are still nursing some trust issues. That's an issue going on there for you. So what would it be like? It almost feels like phew, if God was like, I got you, <laughs> like a little fly, <laughs> no, they got you like a little cute little glow bug, and we're going to move you and transport you to a new place. You got stuck in my car because I ro rolled up the windows and now I'm 30 miles away and now I open the windows again to get out and you're like, I mean, open my door and you whoop, flew out. You're in a whole new place now and you're right where you need to be. So what are you going to do about it? You can't take the old with you. Not only can you not do so, the energetic structures are not there. It's not supported. So even if you try to call in these old things, it's not going to be able to come in because you're just not there anymore. And so now you're such a divine creator as we all are. You've been given a gift. What would you like to do? God has granted your gift to reinvent yourself. Not only that, the universe is like, yo, I'm a blank check right now. What do you want? Let me, let me entertain you, right? Whatever. Tell me what you want. And not like notebook style, like, what do you want? I don't know, right? Not like that. The universe is like, yeah, please tell me. Let me know. Let us know. Turn over a new leaf. And the gift here is you didn't have to pass away in transition in order to try on a new persona. Try on a new persona. Before, you used to be the guy who, or the gal who did this. But why don't you why don't you do something new now you could be the guy who um takes architecture classes you can be the gal who um does street art like what do you guys want to do sagittarius so what i'm gonna do is look i was gonna say move you from here and now we are using the little sickle i'm gonna go nip you from here well actually i'm gonna do it properly okay because this doesn't exist anymore it's like a blank slate and here you are now this ace of cups that i put on the on the path here this is up to you the guides want to honor you and give you what it is that you want you get the picture here what is it that you like please let the universe know bye